Welcome. Thank you for attending this online public meeting for the Iowa 150 Super 2 planning study. The Iowa Department of Transportation is conducting a Super 2 planning study of Iowa 150 in Benton, Buchanan, and Fayette counties. Super 2 highways provide passing opportunities for faster moving vehicles, improving safety and mobility on two lane roadways by reducing the potential of a crash with oncoming traffic. The purpose of this meeting is to introduce and share information about the Iowa 150 study and to solicit input from stakeholders about the roadway. This study is a result of collaboration between Iowa DOT and local stakeholders throughout the project corridor. We are very interested in hearing from Iowa 150 stakeholders who live, work, and drive along the Iowa 150 corridor so that we can fully understand your transportation needs to determine what improvements may be necessary. All comments are welcome and will be considered as part of the study. The Iowa 150 study corridor is approximately 28 miles in length from just north of Interstate 380 in Benton County, extending through Buchanan County to the south edge of Fayette County and its junction with Iowa 281, just south of Old Wine City limits. The study area passes through or near five communities, including Urbana, Independence, Bryansburg, Hazleton, and Old Wine. The purpose of the Iowa 150 planning study is to understand existing conditions and future transportation needs and identify possible future improvements for project development and funding. To understand existing conditions and transportation needs, existing roadways and bridges need to be assessed to determine their current condition and if they meet typical engineering design standards. Areas that may pose a safety concern based on crash data, don't meet current design practices, or where traffic operations and mobility are below acceptable levels will be identified through traffic operational analysis. To understand future transportation needs, we will forecast traffic levels to understand how much traffic the corridor can expect to serve in the future and if existing infrastructure can serve the forecast travel demands. Potential improvements that will allow the Iowa 150 corridor to continue to serve existing traffic needs as well as to accommodate future travel demands will be identified. These improvements could range from spot location improvements to safety improvement projects. Iowa DOT has contracted with Jacobs Engineering to perform this study. Jacobs will be working together with Iowa DOT planning and engineering teams. Super 2 highways provide improved safety and mobility, being able to get to the places you need to go, on two-lane roadways by providing passing opportunities for faster moving vehicles thereby reducing the potential for head-on crashes with oncoming traffic. Passing opportunities are created by providing passing lanes at regular intervals, allowing for periodic passing opportunities in both directions in a safe manner. The length of passing lanes is adjusted depending on traffic volumes on the route. Since traffic volumes can vary within a corridor, passing lane spacing and length must be applied to individual segments of the corridor rather than the whole corridor to ensure proper operation of a Super 2 facility. Super 2 highway passing lanes can also serve as climbing lanes in areas with steeper grades. This study will consider passing lane locations and spacing using Iowa Department of Transportation guidance. Also, when evaluating the Iowa 150 corridor for Super 2 improvements, Consideration will be given to adding left and right turn and partial width paved shoulders to certain areas of the corridor to enhance safety and operations. In Independence, the study will evaluate routing options for the Iowa 150 corridor through town. Iowa 150 through downtown, particularly between 3rd and 5th avenues, experiences significant traffic congestion due to left turning traffic volumes and lane configurations along that section of the route. This Iowa 150 Super 2 planning study is broken into three general steps. The first focuses on data gathering and corridor understanding, including agency coordination, existing conditions analysis, crash analysis, and goals. The second step focuses on what future needs have been identified and how those needs may be addressed. The study will conclude with a vision document, step three, 
that will outline and prioritize any identified improvement projects that could be considered in future studies. If any improvement projects to this 28-mile corridor are identified as part of the study, it is likely that the improvements will be phased over time. The study will result in a project roadmap that will help to assist Iowa DOT plan for future needs and balance competing construction projects across the transportation system. The study team is currently wrapping up the Step 1 efforts and is transitioning into Step 2 activities. After the planning study, the next step will be to initiate the environmental process, which will include additional public involvement opportunities. Stakeholder input is going to be key throughout this study. As a stakeholder, opportunities for public involvement include the project website, social media, virtual public information meetings, and stakeholder or small group meetings. You have the opportunity to share feedback, thoughts, and suggestions regarding the corridor and any identified improvements that may be warranted. Stakeholder feedback will be considered throughout the project and will be paired with engineering and transportation planning principles and best practices to identify the most necessary, sustainable, and cost-effective solutions that will meet the needs of the corridor today and in the future. This online public meeting is part of our public involvement plan and process. We want to get your thoughts on the Iowa 150 corridor. How does it function today? What needs are there in the future? What issues and considerations are most important to your community or organization? How can we best communicate with you? And finally, are there others that we should include or add to our project contact list? Here are the next steps for the study. Your feedback and input will be incorporated into the study. A second virtual public information meeting to present study findings and next steps and to seek input will be held in summer 2023. The study will be used by both Iowa DOT and local jurisdictions regarding future studies, development, and funding of specific improvements to Iowa 150. Again, we would like to reiterate the importance of your input throughout this study. Please contact us with any questions or comments you have regarding the Iowa 150 Super 2 Planning Study. Comments and questions regarding this project should be received by January 30th, 2023. If you would like to receive future email notifications or submit a comment or question regarding this project, go to https colon slash slash bit dot ly slash Iowa DOT 4945. Thank you for your time and attention.